We've done that through World Legislative Acts, the Provisional World Parliament, first session of which was in 1982 at the uh, uh, big assembly uh, center in Brighton, England. Had people from all over the world there. And uh, um, since that time, we've held 14 sessions of the Vision of World Parliament. The next one is scheduled for a year and a half from now. Uh, so we passed World Legislative Act number 48 at the 12th session of the Parliament. And what it does is, you might remember from yesterday, we, Article 9 of the Constitution is about the world judges, the world court system. And uh, um, it calls for a collegium of world judges from which the benches of the world court will be activated. So we are, uh, we pass enabling legislation for the collegium of world judges through the provisional world parliament and uh, this enabling legislation allows us to contact and organize and create a provisional collegium of world judges. And we've been doing that for just a few years now, but we've got a number of prominent judges around the world who identify with the Earth Constitution, who are uh, signatories of it, who uh, are understand their role as a as a uh, collegium of highly qualified people from the high courts of the world who are there when we're ready to activate the first bench of the world Supreme Court system. And in the meantime, of course, they can be, they can be educational for the world. Say why they're a collegium of world judges, why we need a, a, a real world Supreme Court system. There's no court on earth, right, that, that is there for the world. Did, at the annual conference of the Chief Justices, how many nations are represented there? Uh, in recent ones, the, they've, there's been 17 of them so far, and they started out with maybe 40 or 50 nations, now they've got like 160 nations. Wow. That, I wanted, I wanted yeah. So they have like 210 think, yeah. judges come from 160 nations, and it's really impressive. And you typically combine efforts when you do your yeah. parliament with them. Help, help. Well, uh, what we do is we've had representation. I haven't been there every time. Eugenie has been there several times. I've been there a number of times. Uh, but we have WCPA members there every time. And we're talking with the judges every opportunity we get. Uh, and uh, they, they give me a chance to speak to the plenary session and so on. And, and so I, I tr we try to get them interested in the Collegium of World Judges and the Earth Constitution. Um, this is uh, High Court Judge uh, uh, David Quispy from Lima, Peru, who is signing the Earth Constitution here, and uh, he's a member of the Collegium of World Judges, very active. <clears throat> so this, you know, this is a, uh, a work that we're doing. This is provisional world government, right? These, these are, these are. Governmental. We've got a collegium of world judges waiting. And now, why is there no court? I think there's some, one thing that uh, it's important to interject here. Why is there no world court? Isn't there an international court of justice in The Hague? Isn't there an international criminal court now since 2002? There are. There is. Right. Those entities are predicated on the system of sovereign nation states. The, you know, uh, after the Nuremberg trials, that was a, a watershed, right? As uh, David mentioned this, uh, um, uh, the chief prosecutor in the Nuremberg trials was a U.S. justice. And, you know, he, he famously said there is no, we have to have a world of law that replaces the world of force. And all these Nazi uh, uh, people that were on trial there said we're just obeying orders. 